Things fall apart, the center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. Those forces are, are, are thinly spread, and what the United States has to do quite literally is uh, create a major army out of, out of whole cloth. I mean, we, we uh, institute a draft, and we begin to uh, draft young men uh, into the armed forces. Uh, we are completely uh, unprepared to make the jump from the 16th largest army in the world to, you know, uh, an army competitive in size with those of Germany, Britain, and France. It was a terrible sight which the following dawn unfolded to us. The ground was strewn with dead bodies of the men of the 2nd Battalion, grim evidence of the terrific fire which they had to face for several hours on the preceding day. The woods were also filled with German dead, but war benumbs the senses, and sights of death lose their terror. This was only a forerunner of what we were to see later on. We're talking in terms of 50,000 plus American dead sustained between March of 1918 and November 11th, 1918. In other words, we lost as many men dead, almost as many men dead in eight months in World War I as we did in Vietnam in a, in a decade. <laughs>